August 7th, 2017, the sun will be in Leo, oppose the moon in Aquarius. Is going to be direct the earth is going to be directly between the sun and the moon creating a lunar eclipse and this is on top of a trine where we have three planets all in fire signs at uh, particular angles 30 degree angles forming a trine and if you look at it it actually looks like a triangle so we have Saturn Uranus and we also have the North Node and Leo creating this fire sign trine. And so what does that mean? That means it's time to put in work. It's time to put in action for the things that we truly want and the things we truly desire. Now, earlier this year, we had a lunar eclipse in Aquarius and that's when it's a, and that's when it's a, um, the same thing kind of happened earlier this year. Um, it was a partial eclipse. This is more of a visible eclipse. So we can actually see it in some parts of the world. Um, what is this igniting? This is igniting our feelings of freedom and or isolation. Uh, the conscious of us realize that isolation and freedom are one and the same. Consciousness is developing your self-knowledge. Um, everybody is not on that journey with us um so it's a lonely journey but in that loneliness we find the freedom to express and be ourselves uh so freedom isolation same thing the only difference is the perspective on how we're viewing ourselves and our situation this lunar eclipse is doubling down on the fire energy because we also have Mars, the planet of war, the planet of action in the sign that represents action, conjunct sun, which is the personification of fire. So we have fire on top of fire. Um, and this is initiating the passion, the deep passion within us. And it's giving us this incredible urge to create. And with that urge to create, we also have the will and the energy to do something really, really major because all of this energy, um, I know a lot of people is up at the gym or taking a walk or find themselves at work doing more than they normally would because of the energy. Um, so stay focused on that. Uh, the opposition comes when these things from the past, um, you know, like I like to call yourself like that old you um, and the people that know you as your old self um, coming up and trying to check you or play you on some old shit. And they not even taking into consideration the work you have made to change. And even though they may have valid points, the changes that you have been making with your quote unquote consciousness has completely eradicated their feelings and if they still have them that's something that needs to be developed and worked on in them you are not everybody's problem you know you are your own solution so like i said this is all about focus and this is all about old things coming to an end old things have to come to an end because this frees up space for new things to begin and if you're serious about new things beginning then you are okay with letting old shit just die down you know um some questions that this transit is asking us how are we going to take action how are we expressing ourselves and how are we going to move forward uh it's a remarkable time for ones who are ready to make changes and really take on this energy as a complete and whole individual. Um, and it's a horrible time if you're thinking that somebody else is your problem. Like that is going to be a stick in the mud. Um, so understanding that Mars will be in Leo this whole month. So expect this energy to be intense and expect it to persist throughout the whole month. So people are going to be in their feelings. You have to focus on you balancing yourself, your emotions, and really honoring some changes that you have made. Um, this energy is amazing, man. Um, at a certain level, 
you know, every person on the planet is dealing with particular challenges and tests. And everybody has to take their own accountability to deal with those challenges. Uh, you cannot depend on people. You have not to say that, you know, it's a bad thing, but you can't depend on people for the sake of you depending on yourself, depending on your spirit, really working with yourself and developing your, is really a personal development phase and what the energy is really bestowing upon us. Um, cause currently, you know, we've all been building and working on our issues and you know, this new you is going to scare a lot of people. That's the closest ones to you. So make sure that you sure about who you are becoming. Stay woke out here, people. Um, let's make sure that you're not your own worst enemy. How are you your own worst enemy? By focusing on the negative aspects that rise up. And we're going to get to that. Just remember that. How do we how do we deal with this energy that's coming up and dealing? And I, get, and I have a perfect solution for you. So just stick with me. Um, the decision we are making conscious decisions to pursue our soul's purpose once we do that we produce miraculous results um in the professional realm in the financial realm when we trust our gut we trust in our gut because our gut is smarter than our head we our gut is smarter than our head we have to know that when we start our day tomorrow just remember that following your gut is supreme to anything that i say anything that anybody says when we meet these challenges head on and you deal it with your new grace now you really understand the purpose of growth you understand the purpose of consciousness we're not doing this for no reason we're not talking about crystals and sage and things of that nature for no reason we are enlightening and really growing to a level that human beings have never grown to based upon the information based upon the internet based upon our spiritual development we are a level of human beings that this world has never seen and our power is that to which we can do anything and especially when you factor in the eclipse you factor in the once in a lifetime opportunities that the eclipse presents to us and it's your choice if you want to focus on negative emotions that's your choice but i'm not going to partake into it and if you want to make the decision to really walk into your power i suggest you do not partake in the negative human humanistic emotions we have to walk and talk into our truth um and sometimes that's the best therapy and that's your best friend when you walk and talk in your truth that's sometimes the only thing that you need and you can easily pinpoint who has a true problem with you when you're walking into your truth when you're doing everything right um <laughs> learning to free yourself learning to express yourself this is key to transformation because if you're not truly expressing yourself then you are dealing with an old self you're dealing with a wounded child so when you are healing yourself you are dealing with the adult self the 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 self that has the power and how do you get there you get there by listening to your gut your gut it will never lie to you in the realm of relationships because this lunar eclipse has a lot to do with relationships because we are dealing with venus coming out of gemini where we were thinking about the things we loved and when it crossed over to cancer what we loved became apparent and now as we look at the things that we love we don't want to take on too much. You have to save room for yourself, save room for your development, because when you take on too much in the realms of relationship, that creates a resentment somewhere. So to bypass this, um, because it can get ugly, you have to keep the lines of communication open because people cannot read your mind. We have to be honest about the load that you're taking in in a relationship and, and let your partner know that, you know, you loving yourself will create such a force and an ambiance over the whole household that the best thing that you can do for your household is to love yourself. And the best thing your partner can do for him or herself is to love themselves. Um, and realize this, this hate from the past, like ex-lovers and things of that nature, um, 
Just pay that shit no mind at the end of the day. Um, because like I said, we can focus on the negative and that's what we are going to create. So it's important to develop these healthy creative outlets for all of this emotions and energy that is rising to the top. So understanding, like I said before, how this, this energy that's rising to the surface, that's a good thing. Why is that a good thing? Because if you understand energy, energy flows up and out. Energy doesn't flow down and in. If energy was to flow down and in, it has to escape somewhere at a certain point. If you have a drain flowing downward into a pit, that pit is going to overflow and cause, you know, like the toilet gets backed up and then, you know, all types of crazy shit rises at the top. Like, ugh. like, so understanding that at a certain point, that shit has to rise up out of you. So as it's rising up out of you is natural and is good. Don't focus on it though. Um, that's what this eclipse is really pointing out to me. That's what I'm really seeing. This shit that's coming to the surface, you can externalize it and put it on somebody else. But ultimately, that shit has to come to the surface. Pay it no mind. Let it rise up out of you so you begin to be clear and you create energetic and emotional room for new things to happen life is about before and after and it's all about the events that happen that transcend that point like so before this happened and after that happened that's how we tell time that's how we understand life so be prepared for that moment be prepared for that shift and how are you energetically preparing for that shift are you preparing through fear are you preparing with you know thoughts of success thoughts of prosperity thoughts of abundance um a miraculous time of moments of discovery who you are in past lives who you will be in future lives do not sleep on this energy and don't trip on that energy that is rising to the surface is rising to the surface because it has to leave and as we deal with the moon as it wanes down and we deal with the major north american solar eclipse of our lifetimes you want to be clear of all of that bullshit. so let us use these next two weeks these next 14 days to really clear of our of, of old habits old old bullshit that no longer serves us and let's get ready to turn up for this solar eclipse on the 21st um i've been talking about this for a while now and it's about to get turned up everybody's starting to talk about it now but just remember we've been talking about this for a while and we've been preparing for this for a while so this is our moment um so yeah in a nutshell that is the solar eclipse in the different realms that um it spoke to me um there are two different aspects that i wanted to talk about really briefly that may be affecting the uh lunar eclipse that we're dealing with august 7th jupiter square pluto now this presents a challenge and this challenge presents you with the question are you willing to do what it takes to get you to where you need to be are you emotionally ready to take the next step and will adversity disrupt your focus now jupiter square and pluto is asking the question are you sure about your destination um so like a gps you plug in the destination you follow the directions if you get lost you make a wrong turn, you do a U-turn, you make three wrong turns. It's not gonna judge you. It's not gonna hate you. It's gonna tell you, okay, turn left at the next intersection, regardless of what you do. So this transit is letting you know, hey man, we all make mistakes, but are you committed to your destination? Do you really wanna get there? You know, me personally, I've been committed to where I'm trying to get to. Um, I'm not comfortable right now with not having what I want. So I'm doing the behaviors and having the thoughts conducive to my success. And I think ultimately this Jupiter square Pluto um, is really talking to that. Uh, lastly, um, before I head out, I want to talk about Uranus retrograde, which happened today, earlier today, and a little bit, you know, it's, it's zones about this whole thing. 
And so ultimately, if you dream or you have like psychic visions and things of that nature, you've been seeing turmoil and pain and sadness, and you've been having an uneasy, weary feeling. And it's only natural for you to put that off into the future. But what you don't know about your spirit, what you don't know about your existence is that you have been alive many, many lifetimes. You have experienced many, many different tragedies. And as Uranus goes retrograde, trying the North Node, the North Node is things to come. So when Uranus does a retrograde flip flops, the things to come is a past. And what we should be doing is learning from the past, recreating the past, sculpting and molding the past because we realize how powerful the past is. The past is a prerequisite for what we are coming into. So a lot of what I speak to is my past greatness and other life and other lifetimes, uh, and not my past tragedy. Uh, it is actually a choice. Um, the past is a tool that we can learn from. Um, if you let the past bring you grief into your present reality, that is the cause point for your future. So Uranus, Uranus and retrograde is allowing us to process things internally on the inside. And from that point, we receive the external effects from the processes, how we do from the past. So if you are weary and a little scared and thinking something bad is gonna happen, my message to you is that the worst has already happened. You deserve the best, you deserve greatness do not let anyone trick you out of the greatness that spirit has for you um and i know i said finally but we're gonna do a finally finally i just want to touch on real quick the law of polarity understanding that everything is dual everything is opposite everything has poles like and unlike are the same so opposites are identical in nature so the moon being aquarius the sun being in leo even though those things feel opposite to each other they're one and the same and the moon in aquarius is letting you know that you know the sun in leo is letting you know that i'm ready to do everything that i'm here to do so if you can put those things together, if you can put together your, your spiritual knowing, your spiritual power with the action, the will to create, you are ready for a powerful and miraculous transit. And I just wanted to put that information out there because I know it's crazy right now. And I know that everybody is on 10, but it's not for nothing. It's the reason for it all. So let us be aligned to what we are here to do. Be aligned to our soul's purpose and really be empowered and really be strong and be the fire that the energy is providing us right now. Let us tear some shit up. Um, and with that, oh, um, and again, if you need a reading, please contact me, um, hoodmystic at gmail.com. Um, don't contact me for a reading if you expect me to do all the work. Um, if you just, if you need to know what it is that you need to do to make your life better, to create a better situation for you, please contact me. Um, send me a message. If you're not on Facebook, um, hoodmystic at gmail.com. And once again, the website is hoodmystic.com. Um, this is just the video form is much more eloquent on the website. So if you like to read, make sure you check out the blog post, which is going to be posted shortly after the video. Um, but I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, and feel free to hit me up, man. I'm here, but I appreciate everybody and, uh, enjoy the solar eclipse. Once again, August 7th, 2017, that's a lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse is right after August 21st, all in Leo. It's all fire. It's about to be lit.
literally. So with that, <laughs> I'm signing out, man. Y'all have a great night. Peace.